Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over how to create and enter an inventory. From the main menu, we're going to navigate to count inventory in the inventory section. That'll bring up the inventory calendar view. From there, to create a new inventory, we're just going to click new at the top left. From here, you can choose what type of inventory you want to create as well as select the date. The first thing it's going to ask for is the date. Optimum will calculate it as what you have on hand at the end of the date you selected. So if you're counting at night, you can select the current date. If you're counting in the morning, you'd want to select yesterday's date as you're counting what you would have had at the end of yesterday. Next, you can select what kind of inventory you're doing. There are a couple different options. If you were just counting everything, you can simply do an all items count. If you're wanting to count a group or list, you can select one of those options as well. One thing to note is if you do want to count a category, group, or a hot list, and you want to select multiple groups or hot lists, you can check off this box for multiple count sheets required. From there, you can select the option you want to count, click Next, and it'll give you the options available. You can check those off and click Finish. I'm going to go back and just do an all items count. So we'll have that selected and click Finish. Once we click Finish, it'll generate the count sheet. On the top left hand side, we're going to be able to choose how we sort the count sheet. We can do it either by location, group, category, or custom. Custom will allow you to generate a sheet to shelf list. We have another video going over how to do this, and it'll be linked in the description below. For now, I'm just going to choose location. At the top of the window, it's going to give you a couple options to get the count sheet itself. You can either print it off by clicking print, and then here it's going to give you options to either print the count sheet as all groupings, which would be all locations, or just the current grouping, which will just print off the grouping that you're in. Or, if you have our OC Mobile, you can click export and export to OC Mobile. We have another video on this as well, which will also be linked in the description. Once you have your count sheets, you can go through and do your actual counts. Once you're done those, then you would come back in here and you would enter in the counts. So if you're using our OC Mobile, you'd be able to import it in through here. Or if you were just doing a pen to paper count, you can go through and enter in the information in the count sheet. You'll notice that there's three columns for each item. There's a purchase count, case count, and pack count. You can count by any of these units and it'll add them all together. For example, with this coffee here, let's say we had two full cases of it, and then as well as 13 individual bags. We can put that in, and it'll calculate that you have two cases and 13 bags. Once you have all of your counts entered, we would click Summarize Count at the top. This will give you a list of all of the items with their quantity and valuation. Once you confirm this is correct, you can click Finalize at the top, and it'll lock those numbers in. If you do realize afterwards that you made a mistake counting your inventory, you can click Adjust Count Sheet at the top. From here, it'll bring you back to the count sheet, and you can come in and edit any of the counts. Once you've finished editing it, click Resummarize and Save, and it'll ask you for the adjustment reason. Wrong count. Click OK, and it'll update that information. That is how you create and enter counts into Optum Control. Thanks for watching.